Hello friends, a very good evening. Welcome to the live daily current affairs quiz discussion. I hope I'm audible to all of you. If you can hear me, just you can give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I... Guys, let us begin. So the first question, let us see the first question. The first question, Agni, Shasha, Uday, Daksha. Recently in news are what? So let me see how many of you are able to answer the first question. Guys, can you hear me? Guys, can you see the first question? So I've shared the link in the Telegram channel. I hope more students join in. Till then, you can give me the answer. You can give me the answer, guys. First question, give me the answer. Okay. Agni, Shasha, Uday, Daksha. Agni, Shasha, Uday, Daksha are names of what? Guys, the answer is names of cheetahs translocated to India. The answer is option B. Guys, India translocated African cheetahs into India. Can you tell me the national park where these cheetahs have been translocated? Let me see in the comment box if you are able to answer. Okay, if you are able to answer in the comment box, let me see how many of you are able to answer. Where in India these cheetahs have been translocated? Where in India these cheetahs have been translocated? Who can give me the answer? Okay, what is the name of that place? So the name of this place is what? Puno National Park. Puno National Park. Okay, so you should prepare this Puno National Park. You should prepare this Puno National Park. Very, very important from the map perspective. Puno National Park is located in Madhya Pradesh. It is located in Madhya Pradesh and there is a river called Puno. There is a river called Puno which flows through the park. Okay, which flows through the park. It is located in the Vindhyan range. It is located in the Vindhyan range. Okay, so please prepare Puno National Park from the map perspective. This year in the prelims 2023, I was expecting that UPSC will ask questions on cheetah. However, UPSC in its wisdom decided not to do so. But I'm very confident that in prelims 2024, you will definitely see a question on cheetah. So please do prepare cheetah as a species. What is the difference between Asiatic cheetah and African cheetah? What is the IUCN status? IUCN status? Guys, let me tell you, cheetahs were the species which got extinct from India in the 1950s. It got extinct from the India. Okay. So you should know that. You should know that. Let us see the next question, guys. Next question. Consider the following statements about protected area. It is the largest wildlife sanctuary in Madhya Pradesh. Indian wolf is the keystone species of this site. It is a potential site for cheetah trans reintroduction in India. Okay. So what is the answer, guys? Question number second. What is the answer? Is it the Narsingar Wildlife Sanctuary? Is it the Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary? Is it the Navradehi Wildlife Sanctuary? Or is it the Satpura National Park? Or it is the Satpura National Park? Can anyone tell me the answer? It is the largest wildlife sanctuary of Madhya Pradesh. That is it. And the river Ganga and Narmada Basin. Okay, it is situated in the major basin. So answer is Naura Dehi. Answer is Naura Dehi. Answer is Naura Dehi Sanctuary. Very, very important. Answer is C. Option C. Answer is option C. Many of you are correct. Very good. I see Geetika answering the correct answer. I see, okay, Raghunath also answering the correct cherry blossom answer. Okay, I'm very much encouraged by your response. I'm very much encouraged by your response. I'm, you're doing super. Let me tell you. Geetika, let me tell you, Cherry Blossom, let me tell you, okay, Adila, you all are going to qualify prelims next year. If you continue preparing with this spirit, if you continue preparing with this commitment. Okay, let us go to the next question, guys. Okay, let us go to the next 
Maputo protocol related to Maputo protocol. Recently, this was in news. Maputo protocol. Maputo protocol is related to what? Maputo protocol is related to human rights. Okay. Maputo protocol okay, is related to African Union. African is protocol of African Union for okay, women human rights. Women human rights. Okay, women human rights. Okay, guys. Women human rights. Okay, women human rights. Okay. So the answer is human rights. Okay. The answer is human rights. Option B is the correct answer. Question three. Option B is the correct answer. Okay. How many of you have answered it correctly, guys? Let me see. Let me ask you one simple question. Maputo. Maputo is in which country? Maputo is in which country? Okay. So Maputo is in which country? Anyone? Maputo is in which country? Let me see how many of you can answer. It is in Africa. It is in Africa. Maputo is in which country, guys? Maputo is in which country? Can anyone tell me? Let me see. How many of you can answer it correctly? Let us go to the next question, guys. Let us go to the next question. Okay. Consider the following statement. Statement one. Lahol Spiti. Lahol Spiti receives very little to no monsoon rainfall. It receives very little to no monsoon rainfall. Guys, Lahol Spiti is in which country? Okay. Which state? Lahol Spiti is in which state? Guys, Lahol Spiti is in which state? Lahol Spiti is in which state? It is in Himachal. It is in Himachal. So it received very less rainfall. It receives very less rainfall. Okay. First statement. Second statement says Lahol and Spiti is situated in the rain shadow. Is situated in the rain shadow. Okay. Region north of Pir Panjal. Rain shadow north of Pin Panjal. Rain shadow region north of Pin Panjal. Okay. Which of the following is correct? Both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct. And statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1. Both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct. And statement 2 is the not the correct explanation of statement 1. Statement 1 is correct. Statement 2 is incorrect. Statement 1 is incorrect. Statement 2 is correct. What is the answer, guys? Answer is option A. Guys, the answer is option A. Lahore Spiti, it lies on the rain. Okay, it's rain shadow region. Rain shadow region. Okay, therefore, it receives very less rainfall. It receives very less rainfall. Okay, very less rainfall. This is very, very important. It is in the rain shadow region. Very important question. Guys, if you like the question, if you like the question which I have framed, okay, I would like to see it in the comment box and please give me a thumbs up. If you like the framing of the question, please do give me a thumbs up. How do you like this question, guys? Did you like the question? Guys, did you like the question? The manner in which I frame. Guys, I am framing question similar to the UPSC pattern. Similar to the UPSC pattern. Very analytical question. Very analytical question I am framing. And if you solve these type of question, definitely your chances of qualifying the okay, exam will be very high. So why did I frame question on Lahol Spiti? Why did I frame question on Lahol Spiti? Because of the recent, recent, okay, the tragedy in Himachal. Okay, because of the, okay, rainfall. Okay, I did that. That's why I framed this question. Okay, let us me go to the next question, guys. Please do give me a hit, guys. Okay, next question. Last question. The government of India has encouraged cultivation of sea buckthorn. The government of India has encouraged cultivation of sea buckthorn. Okay. So it helps in controlling soil erosion and it prevents desertification. It is rich source of biodiesel. It has nutritional value and is well adapted to live in the cold areas of high altitude. Its timber is of great commercial value. Okay. How many of the above statement is correct? Use or benefit of sea buckthorn. Guys, so you can see here, sea buckthorn is a deciduous. Sea buckthorn is a deciduous plant. Deciduous plant which is found in the Himalayan region. It is a found in the Himalayan region. It is used is as medicine. It is used as medicine. It is also used as cosmetics. It is also used as cosmetics. Okay. So the answer, okay. So the answer, you see, statement three is correct. And even statement one is correct. Statement one is correct. So the answer is only two. Answer is only two. Answer will be B. Option B is the answer. Only two. 
Option B is the answer. C Buckthorn. Why did I frame question on C Buckthorn? C Buckthorn, I framed the question because okay, C Buckthorn is the flagship product of Laol Spiti. Of Laol Spiti, it is the one district, one product. One district, one product of Lahol Spiti. C Buckthorn is a miraculous herb. It's a miraculous herb. It is used to cure various kinds of diseases like blood pressure, hypertension, okay, skin diseases, digestive problem, hepatitis. Okay, so it is a it is a nutritional value is also very high. Nutritional value is also very high, and it also controls soil erosion. It also controls soil erosion. So the answer will be only two. So the answer will be only two. So guys, let me see your scores. Let me see your scores. How many of you scored five out of five? How many of you scored? Okay, four out of five. Okay, so answer is B. Only two is the answer, B. So what is your score, guys? Please share your score. Okay, let me see how many of you have scored. Guys, please write down your score quickly, quickly. How many of you scored five out of five? Okay. How many of you scored four out of five? Anyone quickly scores, scores. I want your scores. Four out of five. Very good. Very good. Very good. So guys, in the coming week, in the coming week, you have to prepare the June current affairs. You have to prepare the June current affairs. Please download the magazine from the website download section. Go to the download section, download the magazine, start preparing for the monthly current affairs test, which will be held on Sunday. On coming Sunday, this will be held. Please start preparing for it. It is going to be very good. It will help you to prepare all the important okay, topics which are important in the last month's current affairs. So thank you guys. Bye-bye. Take care.